Hey everyone, Anissa here and welcome to my channel. If you're new, happy to have you to all my returning subscribers. I'm really excited to hang out with you all today. And what we're doing is playing with this little bad boy right here, the Mac Patrick Star collab. So pretty. Um, I was so excited when I saw it, when I went to work, I had to get my hands on it. But more importantly, I definitely saw this eyeshadow look first on Jackie Ina. And I was like, that is a look right there. And then me and one of my subscribers were talking in my DMs about like this look and I had to do it. I tried it twice and failed. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was my mood. I really honestly think it was the tools because those brushes were natural hair fibers and they just wasn't happening however we got it all together today and i hope you enjoy it if you like makeup videos tutorials reviews all that give this video a thumbs up hit subscribe if you haven't already so you'll be a part of the tribe and let's get into today's glam so since i want that blue to pop i'm gonna use a little bit of nyx jumbo white pencil on my eyelids just to prime This has still some of my concealer I used today, so I'm just going to use that to blend it down. That way it can just melt into the look. Okay, so here's the little beautiful palette we're going to be working with. This is my third time trying this palette. The first time wasn't that great, and I think it really may be because of the brushes I was using. Alright, so we're going to be using all four colors in the palette, okay? We're going to go for it. All right, so I'm going to be grabbing this Real Techniques brush right here. It's just a blending brush. They actually call it the Deluxe Crease Brush. And I'm going to pick up the color All's Rosy. It's just like that mauve color. And I'm going to build into a transition. I'm really just going to concentrate the transition right here because we're going to pop a brighter color on the outside. And like so. That buff's done pretty good. So next I'm going to be using this base shadow brush with the color that's on here in the shadows. But I'm also going to spray it down with just a little Mario Badescu spray to help pack it in a little more tightly. Now I'm going to go with In Living Pink, like right in the corner. I'm just popping it in just a bit. Okay, now I'm going to pick up the color Hickey. It's that bright pink color, and then I'm going to pop it right in the hair. This is just with a Morphe. E17 brush. This is another synthetic, so that's why I'm using it. And I'm just going pretty carefully because I feel like that's just where everything kind of went south the last time I did this look. Now, going back in with this first blender brush, we're going to just get everything all married together. And just to make sure we don't lose this blue, I'm just sweeping back over with it. All right, now we're going to finish the lower lash line, and I'm just going to be taking this little flat liner brush with In the Shadows and lining my lower lash line like so. Then going, going back in on Hickey, I'm going to pop it more here and then just fade it out. So we are... Okay. 
And this is just like a little dome taper brush. With my little E36 brush, I'm gonna pop in Living Pink right here just to bring her out a little more again. Okay, so this is the eye pretty much finished. I went and cleaned up everything with like concealer underneath, redid like my foundation a bit, just touched it up. But this is it. Like I went in to and popped a little bit more of that pink color. Once you clean it up with the concealer, it like all comes back together. Like ugh, much better. I popped on lashes, just Demi Wispies. And then now I'm just gonna go in with some mascara. Okay, so now that the eyes are done, the face is done for foundation, for color, all that jazz, it's time to add some blush. This is the Take Me Home Duo. I want you to get a good look at that. It's like this really interesting mauve. I don't have any blushes in this shade, so I'm really I'm very curious of how it's gonna look. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go in with that darker side first. Oh, oh. You guys. Ooh, that is like much, I was really nervous because all I have are like darker reds and some purples. This is actually really nice. Okay, so for the highlighter, like to get more of that pop, I'm gonna go in actually with the shadow that we used. Um, it's all like, in living pink yeah that one and I'm just gonna put just a little bit on top of it this is a trick too so like if you really want to bring like your eye look together since that's my inner corner highlight I'll still use that same tone out here and a lot of times especially if you're just getting into makeup you really don't need too many highlighters I just have a problem and have too many so you don't have to be like me you can be better than me and then just use that to dust this onto the cheeks. And that will give you a cute little glow. So then I'll go in with my, like my tried and true favorite, the crown of my canopy from Wet n Wild, and just kind of use that to finish the highlighting. So I'll just go. I'm doing this super light because I do not want like too much happening there. Even right now, I feel like it's like too much. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I like the colors that this came with, but like this is the lippy. I just feel like they're more too intense for this look. Like I feel like I would feel like I have a lot going on. So for me, when I do a more dramatic eye, I usually do a neutral lip. So what I'm gonna do today is just take um, Whirl from MAC. I'm gonna use Whirl Lip Liner. And then I'm going to take this NYX um, Strictly Vinyl Lip Gloss in Sugar Mama. It's like a lighter nude. And I'm just going to pop that in the center. Oh, yeah. Oh, this may be the... <sighs> I'm really excited about this lip combo. I just literally went in and was like, okay, what do I have that can work? Like, literally, I just got up from filming. And this is everything. This may be like the lippy of the week. All right, you guys. So let's talk about this collection now that we're done with this look. Okay, one, I'm living for this look. I'm happy it finally turned out correctly. Second thing is the first one I missed out on because I wasn't wowed by the shade selection. I have a lot of makeup. So for something to make it into my collection, that is more like high-end makeup or like these collabs or it, it needs to feel really special plain and simple love patrick but 
I did want to try to Patrick powder and I wish I did. I was really hesitant because it was a little lighter in shade and I'm used to the Laura Mercier, but if they can bring that back, that would be cool so your girl can try it and then it won't be limited edition. So now when I saw this collection, I was like, oh my gosh, wow. Like I walked into work past the um, matte counter at my job and I was like, I never, I don't follow too many of the bigger influencers now on Instagram to be completely honest. So I didn't see, I was like, what? Whoa, I haven't seen that already, like, you know, the previews of it. I did see the eyeshadow on Jackie Ina when she did a video and I was like, what are those shadows, Auntie Jackie? And then when I looked down, it was that and I was like, all right. <laughs> This one, I may not have to sit out. And then when I looked at the set and that it was a full set that you're getting, I really thought that was so worth the value. And again, couldn't pass up. So you get the thing, I was actually wowed by it. So I had to get it. So I did get the floral realness in me so fleek it's 49.50 now for 49.50 you are getting the eyeshadow quad the duo blush and two lip colors a lipstick and this lipstick is actually does it say yes a retro matte formula and then i think this is like a lip glass formula for the gloss Okay, so the Miso Fleet comes in this packaging here. Everything was individually tissued in purple packaging. You also get this little face chart here. Hello, Glam. Like, I feel like I should frame this, right? And then in the back, it says, Spring into fierceness and blossom into your own beauty. Live your floral fantasy, XO Patrick Star. Um, so just a cute little message on the back. So I think overall packaging, obviously, really really great like everything has that motif on it and it's really pretty let's get into some swatches because i know that's what everyone's waiting for all right so as i've been playing in it so obviously the shadow pans are disrupted a little bit with some little kickback but this is the quad here so up here is into the shadow hickey um this one is all's rosy right here that's a matte and then the other one is the in living pink so in living pink is a frost all's rosy matte hickey frost into the shadow frost okay so let's just go ahead and start swatching i'm actually going to start with the it's all rosy i cannot remember these names for the life of me but there you go that's it right there i'm just going to do finger swatches just so you can get it now, it looks streaky right here on the back of the hand. It's really not that bad. It does deposit pretty strongly, but it does blend down. And Living Pink is next. This reminds me of Motif, actually, from Mac, from back in the day. It's discontinued now. It does have some golden shifts to it. It's just hard to tell. And then Hickey be next and as you see like it does end up streaking out but again you it, when you use it with the right tools these shadows do not apply bad at all and into the shadow is right there oh my god that color is sickening oh my god that's what that's what got me into this palette that this color right here had me sold Okay, so I did just try to swatch this blush. It just didn't turn out that cute. But this is the blush duo in Take Me Home. I'm going to pick it up and just swirl it with my full... That's it on the back of my blush brush. And I feel like as we saw when I did it, like that's it swirled together. It is like a nice little deposit of color. I think it does just work better on the face and that's when you get the full effect of it. But I really actually enjoy this little do a one I I would never pick this out for myself if I saw it just on display I'd be like no okay so let's talk about the two lip colors from the kit they are a little bit more intense that's why I didn't put them with this but you have the lip gloss and queen P I think it was queen P yeah queen P this has quite a bit of glitter to it it's queen pea right there so it definitely like has some pigment to it and then the retro matte in hey boy hey 
And those are the two. They definitely work super well together. Like you can tell by the tone of them. I just wish they had like a neutral option and this, but I guess that's the point. They want to get want you to get both kits because the other one leaned a little bit more neutral, not as a vibrant. So let's talk about the pros and cons of it. So a pro to me is that they gave you the full look already done for you. So it's easy and to the point and for $49.50. So for 50 bucks, you're getting four pieces right here. Um, I really like the fact that it is really good for a multitude of skin tones these colors like sometimes even in the quads I'll put like a highlight or a transition shade that's so light I'm like who is that for not this girl um so I do love the color palette that was used in it um I love the packaging of course a1 what else would you even think would happen like it's so cute and Oh, like perfect uh, I love it um I really think too the pigmentation of the shadows are really well I will say the other times I've tried to create this look I was using my morphe brushes and I think because they had natural bristles they grabbed onto the color like no other and it did not blend out like this so for this palette yes they're really great shadows to nice quality however you really like a synthetic brush will go a long way with this set so it is really to me much more compatible with synthetic bristles than natural bristles now a con to this kit is the fact that is what i like about it but i could see how others can view it as a con that you are only buying sets you can't buy like individual pieces from the set but to me i'm okay with that i feel like i get a little bit more bang for my buck with it being in a set but I can see why someone would be like, mm, I don't know about that. The only other con, and this is just me being super nitpicky, is that in the shadow quad, you don't get a mirror. I would love for it to be a mirror. You could still do this gorgeous motif on it. I know they want you to be able to see the shadows through, but I just feel like having a mirror right there so you're not like juggling two things much, much easier. It's different if you're in artistry, you're applying makeup onto your client. However, if you're like me and you're doing your own makeup, you want everything in a one-stop shop. Now, they do have this set sold out on Mac.com. However, I've seen it still available in stores. I'll list any information to help you find that product down below in the description box. Um, other than that, if you have any other questions about the palette, let me know in the comment box. Um, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video. I will catch you all in my next one. Bye.